this is for cars for this to noodles that went to Harvard. Hi guys, good morning. Happy weekend. Today is Saturday. Yes, I'm sweating guys because I'm currently doing cleanup. Uh, today is Saturday and uh, I want to take you guys through what my Saturdays look like. Like that is my our Saturday routine in the house. So I'm going to be taking you guys through all the things I'm going to be doing throughout today being Saturday. Welcome back to my channel guys. If you see my face very first time, my name is Noni. I'm a mom YouTuber based in Abuja, Nigeria. Feel free to subscribe. Click that red subscription button down below. Don't forget to click the bell notification so you don't miss any of my recent uploads. To my returning subscribers. You guys are amazing. I love you all guys. So stay tuned. Let's do this. So this is what my kitchen currently looks like. It looks like a mess. Like I've already started doing cleaning up. I've started cleaning the walls of the kitchen and the uh, yeah guys my kitchen is still under construction so i hope you guys understand but yeah there's nothing to hide here this is my kitchen currently i am currently doing that. i've already started the clean up already before i decided to vlog today yeah so let's go So I I want to make egg sauce. Sorry, can use it to 
drink tea. Yeah, that's what I'm doing now. And my madam, Mr. Burns has started. You're here singing. Yeah, I just put pepper in my on my face now. I forgot that I caught pepper and I touched my face with it. My face is burning this side. Oh yeah. This is my tomato, uh, egg, tomato, pepper for the egg sauce. Let's go. Yes, my what's for top of bacon will soon be ready. Reduce the light and allow it to gently cook. How do you guys like my eggs? Yes. So I am done cleaning. Everywhere is so clean now. Everywhere is so clean now. Everywhere is so clean now. I am done cleaning. I want to make lunch first. I'll clean. So let's unbox gifts sent by my mommy. She sent us this is for Kazi. So this thing is for Kazi. This is for Kazi. So after so we have a pump. This is for Kazi. This is for Kazi. Give you what? This one. So yeah, this is all my mommy sent but this one is a ojuku. Oh yeah. Mano ojuku. This oil is special. Yes. So this one, but this one is a regular palm oil. Thank you, mommy. So guys, I am done cleaning. I have finished clean up and uh, I finished making lunch as well. I don't take you guys through the process but I think I've shown what how to how I make my beans in one of my previous videos. So but now I want to make dinner. It was I told you guys it was about to rain. The weather was very cloudy, like it was going to rain. I thought it was going to rain. And now the rain didn't fall. It's already late for me to go to market it's already late for me to go to market so i have some please can you keep quiet so it's already late for me to go to market and it's getting really late so i'm just going to make dinner i'm going to be making vegetable noodles for everyone to eat tomorrow i will go to market i mean i have some tomatoes that i have already that i bought the other day I went to my visit my sister that's leftover tomatoes that I have already. So I I wanted to go to market so I can get meat for stew and uh, yeah. But yeah, so I'm just going to make noodles now and uh, this is what I'm going to be using to make the noodles, the vegetable noodles. I have fresh tomatoes, I have some carrot, I've already diced it. This onion, spring onion, pepper, and my garlic powder, garlic and ginger powder, that's what I have. And then the noodles itself, I already put water on fire to make to make the noodles. Yeah, it's going to be a stir fry noodle. I'm also going to be adding some egg, probably. I don't even know. has boiled now, I'm just going to add some salt. Now that the water has boiled, I will just turn off the heat. I've added salt already. Turn off the heat and then pour the noodles inside. Okay. So once you put the noodles inside the hot water, you just have to like cover it and allow it to 
for like three minutes then you sieve the water from the noodles out so yeah I slice the onion bit because I want to see them in the noodles. Like I want them to add color to the noodles uh, making. I'm just going to add just one, I'm not adding all the ingredients, so just one of the spice, I've already added two to the noodles, so I added one egg now, just to give it a touch of egg in the, in the noodles, yeah. Just allow it to steam so that the noodles can absorb all the the delicious flavor from the delicious flavor from the vegetables and the yeah at this point you can just lower the lower the gas and cover the noodles and allow it to steam for a while. You can see that it is steamed now. Like it's very hot. You can see the steam from the noodles. It's showing that it has been steaming for a while and it's hot now. You can see the steam. So at this stage now, the noodles, you know, when you soak the noodles, it will be very soft to still be hard. So this is what helps to cool the steaming that helps to like cook the noodles so at this point now just go ahead and add the spring onion Hi. noodles that went to harvard can you see can you Mama. see that can you see that So this is what our noodles look like it is ready and ready to be consumed so guys you guys will rate my noodles drop in the comment section if you would like to try this noodles recipe out yeah i didn't have other vegetable but i made deal with what i have currently at home guys check this out so our noodles is officially ready you're smiling. So I am just trying to cook the tomato the puree that we just finished blending now. Yeah, I will show you guys what the outcome will be later. So this is just a tomato tatashi 
Uh, here I have tomato, tatashi, and uh, shombo. Then some spring onion in here. That's what I. This is the mixture of these four ingredients. So I'm just going to be cooking it till I cook, and uh, I'll show you guys what the outcome will be later. When you notice that the tomato, this one is more done. You see, it's not completely dry. So what you're going to do is to drain it. This is how you make your thin tomato. If you want to store tomato, like preserve tomato, like you're traveling, you want to preserve. This is how you know when you blend it. You pour it, then you pour it inside sieve and allow it to drain. Just pour it into a sieve to drain the water. When it finishes draining, I'll come and show you guys what it looks like. So you can see that the tomato has dried water. See all the water that came out of the tomato. This water like this, sometimes if I'm making jello fries, I will use the water to pour uh, make jello fries. Then I'll this one i'm just going to scoop it into inside plate and put it in the freezer if you're preserving it for a very long time you you fry granite oil and pour on top of the container you're using to put it but today i'm just going to put it in maybe i'll do a, a different video on how to uh, make tomato paste like the one that looks like the store bought on but yeah this is how i'm going to just scoop it and put it inside a plate and the uh, Put it in my freezer once it's frozen anytime i want to use it i'll just bring it out and scoop the one i want to use yeah so guys i'm going to be ending this vlog here i hope you guys enjoy spending a saturday with me i hope you was you enjoyed the video please if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i hope you were able to learn one or two things or also get entertained in the in the course of the vlog Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.